Hey everybody, very welcome back to a Skogok Mark. This is the second part of our shelter series. I'm Joe Price and behind the camera still is Ida Olsen. Yeah, hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how to attach Prusik loops to your ridgeline. Prusik loops are a fantastic tool, especially when they're combined with toggles for attaching things to your ridgeline. Most people only have two. I like to add four and I'll show you some of those reasons in this video. So today we'll just get straight into it. So here we have a simple loop of bank line with two fisherman's knots either end. The fisherman's knots are just simple knots that you see on friendship bracelets and stuff and they adjust. You can pull them this way and you can also pull them that way. And the reason why we put them on here is because they're a really strong binding knot when you put them under pressure. When you're starting with a Prusik loop and want to attach them to your line, similar to this, you place it underneath your line or you can place it over your line. But the thing with knots is, once you practice them one way, stay practicing them that way. Don't listen to friends or anything like that unless it's somebody who, who has shown you a better way to do it. But muscle memory and knots is super important. If you learn how to do a Prusik loop this way, well then all of a sudden if you try and do it this way, you'll have a bit of a brain jar and you don't want to do it. So simply for this video, we will start underneath the ridge line. We'll start with a small loop on the top. And notice the location of our fisherman's knot here. That's important for later. So start with a small loop on the top, just enough to get your finger through here. And then come through the loop three times, making sure your knot comes through as well. Keep it small, and this way you can always tell the difference between which is top and which is bottom. Give it another spread, come through again. And you'll always have to dress this up as you go. So you see now we have two. Give it another spread, come through again. And now we have three. And what that will do is it will all slowly, and dressing your knot is important as well. People tend to pull knots really, really quickly together, but then you'll end up with stuff in the wrong place or stuff looking on top of each other. And as you pull it down, that there is your Prusik loop. Six lines wrapped around your cord, with a bit of a gap here, and your fisherman's knot is here. And that's important because you don't want your fisherman's knot down the bottom where your tension is, and you don't want it wrapped up here in your power cord. And that is very simply your Prusik loop. And the way a Prusik, why we attach a Prusik loop to line is because you can move it here and if your tarp is pulling this way, you can see the power cord starts to pinch, it bites down on it. Then you can just take the tension off and move it freely. And this works in both directions. Now, we want to attach a toggle to it. Here's a toggle that the beautiful Ida prepared earlier. Talking about Marlin spike hitches before, this is why you see these knots prevalent over it. We can come up and we can create this loop you see here, or a lark's head hitch. Put it in and just down over your fisherman's knot if it gets in the way. And that's you securely there. Now, the reason why I have four, because most people would add two, that's totally okay. Because you would pull these apart, place your tarp in the middle, put your toggles through the eyelets of your tarp and pull it tight. But then I like to add these two just to have them as extra. So I can either use these two to attach my tarp to, and then I can have these two outside my tarp and I can hang lanterns off them, hang my backpack off it, hang my jacket off it. Or if I decide to put my tarp over my ridge line, I can use these two outer ones to tighten my tarp. And then underneath my tarp, I have places to hang my gear, places to hang my head torches, hang my tinder overnight to dry out. So having a couple extra toggles on your tarp is not a bad thing to do, but a very versatile thing to add to your ridgeline. Prusik loop, toggle, fisherman's knot. And until the next video, peace.